hi welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be making a spider web taco dip let's begin so I'm going to use this dish because it's easier to see the spider web I saw somebody make it with frito bean dip so I want to try that next time but this is the normal that I usually use is Sarita refried beans taco seasoning you can add your own spices I'm trying to do something quick this is the best and you'll mix it with sour cream you can use any type of sour cream I this is the one that I I like so you mix those two together guacamole like I said I normally make guacamole but today I was in a rush so I just got this one salsa same thing you can make your own salsa this is what I chose so here's the olives that we're gonna use for the body of the spider and the spider legs first we have Mexican blend cheese you can use any type of cheese so first we're gonna spread in the refried beans Your taco dip could be however you want to put it together. I'm actually adding some picante sauce on top of this. Sorry about the mess, guys. I like counters clean, so did some clean up. Here's guacamole. Bigger casserole dish, you could do seven layers. This is going to be a layer each of all the ingredients looks amazing already I put sour cream in a sandwich bag and I'm going to cut the tip and then we're going to make the cobweb wish me luck I haven't done this before let's see how it turns out So there's the spider web, and I'm going to sprinkle some cheese on it too. You could have done the you could have done the cheese in between as well. I'm just going to sprinkle it on the sides. So this is what it looks like so far. So I was thinking about the spider web when I'm making this. Um, I could have cut the sandwich bag a little smaller, but this is a dip. And we love the sour cream. I'm actually okay with it being extra thick, but on a normal basis, if I wanted to take this to a party and wanted to look amazing, I would have done the spider web a little thinner. Um, but more sour cream, yum. So for the spiders, it's really simple. These are the pitted olives, and we're just going to cut it in half, whether you cut it this way. There's the halves. Or you can just hold it on each end and then slice it however you want. So this part right here that you just cut in half is going to be the body. And so this is, I did a devil's egg with a spider on it, and so this is how I made the legs. I just cut the other half. Spiders have four legs, really thin. And there's the his four legs there. One, two, three, four. Do the same thing on this side. I usually just cut off the little tip on that. So you have straight So there's one, two, three, four of his legs. So there's one spider. So this will be interesting because the cobwebs are so big. I hope you'll be able to see the spider. So there's one creepy spider. So let's do a few more so you can see what it looks like. So here's two spiders on this cobweb taco layer dip. I started using toothpicks to maneuver the little legs so you're not getting sour cream or guacamole on your hands. So I would just get them closer to that. And I think I would just put one more on. You can see it, the spiders. 
my cheese is falling off, but bring Kelsey to see what she thinks of this. So here's Kelsey. Hi. She's going to be my taste tester. Okay, try which chips you would like. Good. I like this one better, but because it's a seven layer dip, I'm going to use this one. So let me get a brand new chip. Go all the way down. So, Kelsey, I did make homemade guacamole. Would you rather have homemade, or is this guacamole good? Well, usually I'm finicky about guacamole, but it's actually really good. I didn't even tell. Okay. And then, does this look like a spider web with uh, spiders on it? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, in your mind, would this look better with a thinner spider web, or thick as you still can see it? I still see it. Okay. And then, would you like cheese... In the middle of this, or cheese on top is fine? No, I like it like this. Okay. 10 out of 10. 12 out of 10. Do you taste the uh, taco seasoning that I mix with the guac with the sour cream? Uh, maybe. Okay. So, Kelsey doesn't like, Kelsey doesn't like a lot of spice. So, what are your thoughts on this? Is this too spicy? It's not even spicy. Oh, good. Okay. So, mm. she said 10 out of 10. So, so good. I must have done something right because Kelsey will tell me if she likes something or she doesn't. So thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, and we will see you soon. Bye. Bye.